It is Wednesday, August 5th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have three items to cover today, including what the potential crisis on the Yangtze means for China and the world. Also, courtesy of the Epic Times, floods in China reach biblical proportions. And last but not least, courtesy of the Taiwan News, Typhoon exposes Tofu Dreg Project in East China. We also have some new Twitter footage playing in the background of today's video. Let's hop into it. And a quick update on the status of the water level at the dam before we get started. The current water level at the dam is 160.6 meters. The current inflow is listed at 27,000 cubic meters per second. And the current outflow stands at 34,900 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And our first article of the day comes courtesy of the Daily Signal. What the potential crisis on the Yangtze means for China and the world. The entire situation in China pales should the Three Gorges Dam itself fail. This is a scary but not impossible scenario. A Chinese dam in Guangxi collapsed earlier in July. While there was apparently no deaths, there was, not surprisingly, extensive flooding. Interestingly, there has been little reporting in China's domestic media about this dam collapse. Should the dam fail, a massive torrent of water would sweep down the Yangtze. While there are several major lakes downstream that serve as partial flood control measures, the sudden release of millions of cubic meters of water from the reservoir behind the Three Gorges Dam would rapidly exceed their capacity. The loss of life in the event of such a catastrophe would be staggering. Several smaller cities downstream from the Three Gorges Dam have populations in the 4.5 to 6 million person range. Nanjing has 8.5 million, while Wuhan has 11 million. The physical damage would be massive. Cities such as Wuhan would be inundated as would nearby countryside. Various levees would also break from the massive surge. The resulting loss of cropland would further tax China's already stressed food production capacity, which is already being threatened by an outbreak of African swine fever and an invasion of fall armyworm. This, on top of rains and flooding, would raise real questions of China's ability to feed itself. The global economic impact would be huge, not only due to supply chain disruptions, but the likely financial effects of such a massive catastrophe. While China could import food to replace its flooded stocks, that in turn would have a global impact on the world food market. And it's becoming clearer every day that China faces a multifaceted crisis on many fronts. Moving on. It would also mean the reallocation of substantial Chinese foreign currency reserves from other projects, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, which in turn would affect a range of lesser developed countries hoping to improve their infrastructure through Chinese financed projects. Global crisis management resources are already severely taxed. It would nonetheless behoove national leaders and heads of international relief organizations to keep a close eye on the weather reports for central China. The Three Gorges Dam is only one of several dams built along the Yangtze. Although its reservoir is one of the largest, dams further upstream are often taller. The entire network needs to hold and release water in coordinated fashion in order to ensure that downstream reservoirs and overflow lakes are not overwhelmed all at once. This is becoming a problem in 2020 because the entire Yangtze River Basin, including rivers that feed the main Yangtze, have been subjected to an unprecedented series of massive rainstorms. As a result of the massive inflow of water, Upstream dams are themselves under increasing stress as flooding inundates their catchment areas. To relieve the pressure, the Chinese have gone so far as to demolish a part of one small dam in nearby Anhu province that held back one of the tributaries feeding into the Yangtze. But opening the spillways on upstream dams would only increase the volume of water sluicing into the reservoir held back by the Three Gorges Dam. Indeed, the Three Gorges Dam itself has now had three flood peaks, affecting the release of water from the massive reservoir. Reports suggest that water has been flowing into the reservoir at some 50,000 to 60,000 cubic meters per second. But due to concerns about flooding downstream cities, water is only being released at about 38,000 cubic meters per second. The reservoir, whose maximum level is 175 meters, has reached 164.18 meters, exceeding its previous record of 163.11 meters in 2012. 
Downstream from the Three Gorges Dam, the Yangtze flows through a number of major Chinese urban centers, including Wuhan and Nanjing, before reaching the sea at Shanghai. The flooding has affected China's economy, as businesses have lost inventory and production has been delayed. Also, transportation links across China have been disrupted, leading to not only local and regional, but national repercussions. The massive scale of flooding is affecting a range of supply chains. Deliveries from China, for example, may be delayed by as much as three weeks to a month due to flooding of production centers, as well as transportation links that would move equipment to shipping ports. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this comes courtesy of the Epic Times. Floods in China reach biblical proportions. Rains have lasted over 30 days and are continuing. And many other disasters are hitting at once, including tornadoes, hailstorms, torrents, mudslides, and earthquakes. In addition to a possible swine flu outbreak and expected locusts, in Chongqing, videos show large-scale mudslides rushing towards highways and residents were warned by officials they may be in danger of floodwaters if they live below the fourth floor in their buildings, as water levels could allegedly reach over 600 feet. In Beijing, hailstorms continue. In Sichuan, upstream of the Three Gorges Dam, a 4.5 magnitude earthquake hit on July 2nd. Flooding continues in 26 provinces of China, and there are increased warnings of a failure in the Three Gorges Dam. And our last article comes courtesy of Taiwan News. Typhoon exposes Tofu Dreg Project in East China. After Typhoon Hagupit hammered eastern China on Tuesday, August 4th, photos have surfaced showing an apartment building with parts of its exterior ripped clean off, which resulted in at least one death. After northern Taiwan avoided a direct hit from Tropical Storm Hagupit on Monday, the cyclone gained strength and became a full-fledged typhoon bearing straight for eastern China. At 3.30 a.m. on August 4th, it made landfall on the coast of Zhejiang province and headed for the city of Wenzhou. The torrential rain brought by the typhoon has caused serious flooding in many areas. Over 830,000 households in Wenzhou suffered power outages and serious damage, reported Harbin TV. Powerful winds reaching 12 on the Beaufort scale unexpectedly exposed a tofu drag project, which refers to the shoddy construction with substandard materials seen across the communist country. Photos on Weibo show many exterior walls and windows on an 18-story apartment in Yunnan City stripped bare by Hagu Pit, as if they had been cut off with a knife. Not only were many windows blown out, balcony railings stripped, and exterior walls shorn off, but in one case a washing machine was blown away by the hurricane force winds. In some instances, living rooms are now completely exposed to the elements. When a 62-year-old woman on the 11th floor tried to close one of her windows at around 3 a.m., the powerful winds blew it away. She was then dragged with the window and was sent hurtling 11 stories below to her death. When the photos of the damaged building surfaced on Weibo, Chinese citizens mocked the poor construction as it was originally built as a high-end residential complex. In early 2011, when some residents started to move in, they reportedly found that the building was leaning to one side and had to evacuate until structural repairs could be made. In response to that incident, Yuhan City's Public Relations Department released a statement that read, The wind is really stronger than in previous years, which may have inflicted damage to the homes. The fatal fall was the result of the resident not being careful when closing a window. As to whether there were problems with the quality of the apartments, the government agency said that it is advisable to consult with the relevant departments. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.